Russia and all that stuff. So. But I figured the 15 was a very stable one to release. Oh, wow, a dragging wall! <laughs> I kept bumping up the fourth, they kept dropping down the third. Scared. Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are in one of the new Prospect Drift cars. This is the beta version that I released to level tier and three higher Patreons for them to give it a test. We're here at OSW 2020 BDC track. We're in a public server for the Patreons that have the beta cars. We're going to be testing the cars out in tandem. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media found in the description box below. But before we get to that, I'd like to thank Coldest Water for sponsoring another video here on the channel. Like we got KNC, Lundy, 2JZ on the track. We're going to try and get some doors with him. We got a Kawadi in here as well. So we're going to see if we can't get some tandems here with KNC, Lundy. Here, Hick. There we go. Oh, we're running walls here at OSW. I came off a little shallower than I wanted to. But I was also kind of behind a little bit up here on the second inner bank section, kind of get into that crease, there we go, kind of in the crease money right there. So these cars are about 640 some horsepower, they are on basically pro style suspension on Achilles, uh, Achilles 1, 2, 3 tires, 255s, 275s, so they are extremely grippy, there are 7 cars in total that will be coming out, which have full liveries and everything like that, so this is just your first glimpse at the pro cars in their driving. Pro spec cars that I'm going to be running my own competition with. They're definitely fun cars and uh, they have a bit of a grip but they also have a very nice driving feel. So it's definitely something that I'm super excited to be bringing out here to you guys with this pro spec pack because these cars are so much fun and with wanting to run my own competition and everything like that you guys have seen the tease of these cars on Instagram and stuff like that before. We can see if we can't give one to drive a good lead here. A little slow off the start. Suck it up to the wall. Left foot break. Oh, wall tag. Come off the wall. Come off the wall. Kind of got hooked on the wall. Quickie break. Yank across that power alley, managing the bomb. Got into that crease way later than I wanted to, but Lundy was banging on my door. Can't see Lundy, definitely a fun guy to drive with. I was driving with him in another lobby when I was testing my Pro Spec car at Daytona, or my ESDA Pro car at Daytona. So definitely a very, very fun guy to drive with and very solid in this car. I've, uh, he sent me a few clips of him driving and uh, yeah, he's solid. This car is definitely a lot of fun. Bit of a bobble in the bank for me, a little handbrake there. See if we can't catch up in the power alley. Quick change. Oh, a little understeer there over the bump. Unfortunately, did not help my case in trying to get up on his door after the power alley. So, if you guys are liking this and you can't wait for the actual pack to come out, I can't wait to bring this actual pack out to you guys. The pack is done. I just need to finalize a few items and some few sponsors and things like that on the cars to make sure the cars are fully done. But as for driving characteristics, physics, suspension, tires, and everything like that, these cars are set to drive and ready to go. This is exact replica of the 15 that is coming out of the pack, just minus delivery. Alright, that time we got out to the power alley. We got out of the power alley. Lundy giving me a little nudge, let me know he's there. And uh, kind of forcing himself up into the bank. So, these cars are great for getting tandems. It's going to be a lot of fun once the whole pack comes out. We'll be switching the server, the main tandem server out to have these cars on tandem tracks when the car pack is released. So big thank you to World of Drift Tours and um, High Dimensions for allowing me access to the models and things like that so I can make these amazing cars that look pro and pro spec rather than just street cars with the rear mount radiators and full pro interior. 
criteria and things like that. So, with that being said, I know you guys have seen some of the glimpses, but as you can see, the Evil Rabbit Drift Competition banner, I just literally stopped in the middle of the track. Evil Rabbit Drift Competition banner is there for a purpose reason because these cars will be used in my future competitions that I would want to start running. So, that's one thing that's going to be coming out as well. Oh, oh, <laughs> Gawati mode. Going into those cones, those cones don't give, man. Ah, sleeping at the light. Sorry, we got him. Try a little side by side entry. Let me initiate a little bit earlier than I anticipated, or a little bit later. Sorry, it's like can't catch up in the power alley. up to his door in that crease. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let him know here. <laughs> Little bit of a rub on his door to let him know that we're here. We're gonna have Christmas joining in here on comms and joining in on the server as well. So we're getting Christmas on comms and uh, we're gonna keep throwing down some doors. If you add different devices and unplug them, I feel like settings always get f***ed up um, in the anytime content I, manager. Anytime I have That's my Xbox controller plugged in, why did my car hold a second? Oh! Um... When I plug in my Xbox controller when we play like COD and then I forget it's plugged in, all my settings on a set will get tweaked. Yeah, that's what's going on with me right now. I like I learned I figured out one little trick that seems to help me occasionally, and it's basically I create two settings that are the same exact in content manager. Like two profiles basically. And if one ever gets fucked up, I just switch to the other and switch back to the, my other one. It's the same exact thing, and it, it usually resets it. Like, oh, 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 oh. oh jeez! I did not clip that how I needed to. <laughs> I noticed you were struggling a little bit. I was like, oh. oh, for sure, dude. It's it's way. I feel like things are just totally, totally different. Oh yeah. And plus, I'm. I mean, Christmas has heard this. I think the first time I played with Christmas. Guess what's broken on my rig? Oh no. <laughs> hey, no. Dude. No. Are you buttoning it again? <laughs> hey. Dude. <laughs> dude. Oh, that's rough. Should have bought a fan tag. Uh, I'm working. Oh, I looped it. I looped it. Sorry, I wanted to... I am getting. That was a very, very it. bad run, Annie. <laughs> I'm getting too much grip right now. So, anybody that is run. suffering with lack of grip, change rear camber to, I think it's positive 0.3, which puts you. 0.3 or 0.5, which puts you at like negative 0.3 camber in the rear. And that gives the car a little bit more grip. I got too much added, grip. Uh, a few PSI to the rear tires. Let's too. see. Lonnie, well, you were giving me some uh, solid leads a little bit ago. Just trying, man. Oh, oh. as I say that. <laughs> I'm hanging in. Hanging as in. I say that, he wall taps. Well, almost dies, okay? I'm just renting your car and putting it in our wallet like you Hey! <laughs> Rude! No but true! You but true! Drifting in the pits? Are hey, you shots! Shots you fired! You have the keys to my car, so you can wreck my car you want. <laughs> well, the good thing these aren't the, 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 you know, the actual like full, full released cars. Otherwise, I'd be like, man, you're wrecking them already. Full release cars? Uh, I will say oh. they're very pretty. Yes. Oh yeah. Addy, Addy's, oh, yeah. Addy's seen. <laughs> Addy's actually seen them all. All of them? Yeah, okay. I, I showed Addy, Addy yesterday. Special. <laughs> Addy oh, this and is a lot Christmas better. Have seen them all. Are we running, are we running trains at OSW? I mean, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that hit! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That bump. Oh my god, that bump uh, is terrible. <laughs> Inertia and all that stuff. So. But I figured the 15 was a very stable one to release. Oh, wow, a dragging wall! <laughs> I kept bumping yeah. up the fourth, they kept dropping down the third. <laughs> this was, I think, the best car for me to release beta-wise, because it's the, it's like 
I don't know. It's most easily consistent yes. without having to do much to adjust it. Yeah. Yes. You can, you, some know, of the other cars are very nice when you get them where you want them to be, but it takes a little bit to a finesse to get it there. This car is the easiest out of box. Just drive it and have the time. Yeah. And I love the power the power band I bumped it to since Alpha. Mm -hmm. Alpha was 500. These are about 644 or so. These are always fun cars to drive. It was the right power bump, I feel. Because we can run this track. You can run Irwindale. You can run Wall. The 500 was the 500 was okay here, but you, you, there's a lot of clutch kicks. So yeah. this power band allows to run a lot of the big main tracks. 